Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. So the question of the day is, is that my armrest or is that yours? Now the reason why I ask this is whether you're sitting in a stadium, a movie theater, or even on an airplane, they generally have three seats, four armrests. And I had a situation the other day that surprisingly, I never said anything. I was going from Atlanta to Minneapolis and I immediately sat down when we started boarding. I got all comfy with my blanket and my pillow I was really rather to myself have my headphones in and was listening to my music. Well, I've always thought from hand rest to hand rest, from seat back to seat front to the floor to ceiling is all my personal bubble and I own that property and don't come into my property if you're not invited. Well, apparently the guy in the middle seat did not get that same memo. Now, I've always often thought I'm not going to take the armrest only because what if they want it or they need it more than I do? So I've always not taken the liberty of taking this armrest away from somebody else. But when the guy sat down, he immediately took both armrests, not only mine, but the guy that has the aisle seat. And I was really bummed. Not really bummed that he took it, but by his actions. It was like very inconsiderate and very rude of his actions because his arm not only didn't just barely take the armrest, but his arm was seriously pressing on my arm to the point that I kind of moved over and then I moved over again. And I had my back so squampus that I'm surprised I didn't crack it a couple times. So 45 minutes, maybe an hour later, he decides to pull out his laptop he drops the tray, puts the laptop down. Now let me tell you the situation. In coach, when you have a man's body, a laptop, and the guy in front of you leaning back, it's not a good situation and it will never end well. So what happens? He puts his laptop, he opens it up, the guy actually pulls back his seat almost immediately, and this guy in the middle decides to open up his legs because his legs are really long and then he opens them up even more and then again and I was really bothered because not only did his arm take up the entire armrest plus some of the empty space that I had between the armrest and myself so he was actually pressing up against my arm but then his knee and his leg was completely in my personal bubble now I was really surprised I didn't say anything, but I kept on moving over and moving over and moving over to the point that I had it safely that he wasn't touching me in any way. But it seemed like the more I moved over, the more he moved over. So my question to you is, what do you do with the armrest? And in my situation, what would you have said? Because I'm really shocked that I didn't say anything. Anyways, guys, a smiling face makes the world a better place. Thank you, Billy C. TV, for telling me that. And, as always, I will see you the day after tomorrow's yesterday. Good night, guys.